Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at what happens when you shift the supply curve to the left. With that said, let's get into it. So to begin our example, let's draw our basic supply and demand graph. We'll start with the axes, the actual supply and demand curves, and then labeling everything. So once again, you can see that price is on the y-axis, quantity is on the x-axis, the supply curve is the upward sloping line in blue, and the demand curve is the downward sloping line in red. And you can see that where those two lines intersect is denoted P star and Q star, which in economics we call the point of equilibrium. Now let's introduce our supply shock. Here our example is a severe drought in a major wheat producing region. Well, we know that a drought is bad for wheat production, so this is going to see a decrease in supply or a shift to the left of the supply curve, and that new supply curve will be denoted supply prime. Again, this is just a notation thing so that without drawing arrows, you can remember which supply curve was the original and which supply curve is the new one. Upon this shift, you'll notice a change in the equilibrium. P star has now increased to P prime, and now supply prime and demand intersect at this point here, and Q star has decreased to Q prime. And if we follow it up to the new intersection, it's at this point here. Now you'll notice that P has increased and Q has decreased. And this will always be the case if supply shifts to the left and there is no change in demand. It does not matter the magnitude of the shift. If demand remains unchanged and supply decreases, then price will always go up and quantity will always go down for the new equilibrium. Now we have other videos on the channel looking at a leftward or rightward shift of supply and demand. So if those are videos that you think will be helpful, then please go find those on the channel and we hope that you enjoy them. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.